Hi there. This evening I have a lot of little packages to open. If you have ever ordered anything from China on one of the Chinese um, websites like AliExpress or any of the other big ones like that you will recognize getting lots of different colored and different size packages in the mail because when you buy five little things they will come from different companies, different um, factories and all this kind of thing so they all come packaged differently and all at different times different days so it's quite exciting actually it's nice to receive so many little things in the post so these are mostly nail art things I've been really getting into my nails at the moment and China is the best place to find random things like that. Really not very expensive, so you can test them out. Sometimes things are not great quality, but a lot of the times I'm quite pleasantly surprised by it. And it's very rare that I have to put something in the bin or can't get use out of it. You just have to be careful when you're buying to really look closely at the photos and read as much information as you can on the products. Sometimes I'll take a week and really like go through the site. For example, if I'm looking for nail art things, I'll look at everything I can and put things into little um, wish lists and then I'll go through the wish lists and then look at what I really want and put them in the basket and then take things out, put things in and at the end of the week I'll do an order and then you wait maybe a month and then all the little parcels start coming through the post one by one I haven't actually received everything so I'll probably be able to do a second video but I figured there was so much already that it was definitely worth starting with part one I guess or just this one so I'm going to move these out of the way opened from their packaging. And the first one is this. So it is just some tape. And as you can see it is masking tape or I guess you might call it painter's tape. a tape that's known for not being overly sticky not sticking to things for long periods of time so it's great for painting so I guess for painting your nails it's good I, I tried it for some colour block nail art last week and it was okay it's a bit the edges are a little bit bitty doesn't give a, a really smooth clean line that you would get normally from like a um, proper clear tape but it is good because you don't have to remove any of the stickiness before putting it on your nails okay so I got 
five rolls and it just looks like they've taken an ordinary roll of masking tape and very smoothly cut some slices out of it. <laughs> but hey, it works so. I think it will be good to have lying around for some nail art. And I'm sure I'll figure out a way of making it work for me. Maybe when I place the tape on the nail, I might have to really make sure that the edges are really secure. Maybe I didn't do that enough the first time. So I'll check it out. Otherwise, tape is always useful. So <laughs> we'll get used. And the second one I got is also tape, but this is actual nail art tape. Um, it's something you can use to either mark off areas to paint over so that you're left with the bare nail or the undercolor, the base color, or it's tape that you can just use to decorate, which is why it's in all these lovely colors gonna open that up and have a look at a few of them closer. Very crinkly. There are a lot of them. I think I paid like no more than two or three euros for them. You can see there are a lot of colors, gold, silver, pink, green, pink with like, well, like holographic print on it, yellow, blue, purple, white, some goldy browns, orange, there's just like a lot of colors. There's some matte colors like the green and the yellow and then most of them are shiny. I guess I can take one out and show you. I'll just use this gold one. Okay, so it's kind of sticky on the sides already. Here is the edge. I don't have any scissors with me, so I don't know. I'll be able to break it. Let's see. Mm -hmm. It's always difficult getting that little edge, isn't it? Oh, it's very thin. Oh, it goes nicely. Looks like I've got Christmas nails already. Oh, but I don't have any scissors. Let's see if I can snap it. Oh, not a good idea to snap it. I will probably do some nail art videos in the future anyway, so don't snap it. <laughs> Just put these back. In the packet. And up to the side. Okay. First little packet. It's a plastic bubble wrap envelope. You can hear all the bubbles underneath. I've already pre-opened all of these to avoid any loud whipping noises or having to get the scissors out. So I'm gonna go inside. Mm. 
this is what we have inside. So it's kind of like a film, this pink part inside. It's like a little film that you can place over your nails to give a kind of holographic effect. Or you can cut up into little pieces and put them on your nails and it looks kind of like broken glass. I don't know if you've seen that. If you follow nail art channels, you've probably seen that. Let's say you can cut it up and put just parts of your nails however you like. This one is just a, a nice pink kind of see-through one. nice, it has a kind of green reflection to it. And I like the little packet that it comes in. It didn't have to come in this. It could have just come in a packet like this. I would have been happy, but it's a cute little picture frame type packet. I could even use it as a picture frame. Really wanted to. So yeah, I must have paid like 50 cents for this. No more. Okay, can't wait to use that. Okay, the next one that is in kind of a plasticky envelope. really one of those thin, it's almost like a bag, more than an envelope. And I think this one is the one that is not nail art. But I figured I might as well just stick it in there. It's another little package, came from the same place. This is not the, the style that I've chosen, it's just the brand. So, as you can see, these are My Little Pony tattoos. And they're not for me, although I would put one up. <laughs> they're for my daughter. She absolutely loves My Little Pony. And I'm happy that she does because I like the, the messages that it sends. And really one of those cartoons that keeps going. I mean, I, I loved My Little Pony when I was a girl, so it's nice. I get to relive it all through her. I can watch them together. So she's going to be pretty happy about that. actually stuck down. So I guess anybody could open it and close it without you knowing. I mean it doesn't really matter for what's inside here but I find it strange that you could send mail that it's not properly closed. It looks more like a document holder that you would like give to someone in the same building or 
for storing what we're sending across the world. So this one is a very sturdy card. Well, it's not sturdy card, it's sturdy paper. It's sturdy brown paper. And this is just because I ripped off the label with my address and everything on it. Otherwise it looks all nice and clean and undamaged. I just like this side. It has a slightly green tinge to it. It's not like completely brown paper. the closure. It's like little plastic rounds that you wind the string around to close it. And it's just open like that. It's a pack of six nail art brushes and they're all squared off once. And they're silver in colour. And I think, if I remember rightly, these are the lids that you put on the top to protect them when you're at the same. Once again, I didn't pay a lot for these. So I'm hoping the quality is good. Just going to take them all out to have a closer look. So they're numbered, but not one to six. There are six, but they are number. Let's see. I have number two, number four, number six, number eight, number. The smaller the number, the smaller the brush. And these are going to be mostly used as cleanup brushes. So I would dip them in acetone and clean up around the edges after doing any kind of messy nail art, anything using sponges or just little mistakes. Okay, let me try and see if I'm right about the lid. I don't know. Oh, well, that's even cooler than I thought. So we have a lid that turns it into kind of a long bullet shape. So it takes up a lot less space. And then when you want it to be a brush, you have the choice of a small 
brush or both sides. That's cool. Yeah, I like these even more than I thought I would. Okay. Let me just pop that on again. And I'll have a look at the others. They're quite stiff at first, but they become soft very quickly. So they're all going to be really useful, I think. <laughs> just use the mini one. I guess for storage, it takes up a lot less space when they're in a little bullet form. Oh, that's not good. So, yeah, I'm guessing the glue has already given up <laughs> on this one. I'll need to just re-glue that in later on. For the price I paid, I'm not surprised that there's a little um, break already, but I don't mind, it's easily fixed, so not a bother for me. Just gonna probably expect it from all of them at some point. But as long as the, the bristles stay in place and um, don't give me any bother then I don't mind. I think I like this one, the little one like that, for more precision. Cool. These little tops. Oh, that was stiff. No, it's not. Yeah, I like them. I guess I paid like three euros or four maybe for these. I think that's worth it. I guess the fact that they're compact like this is a bit gimmicky, but maybe it'll come in handy for storage. This is another nail related package. And it is in a white bubble wrap lined envelope. I've just removed the label, as usual. This one came with a little foam padding protection. It's quite a thick parcel. 
a lot thicker than the others. It's a lot of it. This is my little stamper. I really wanted one of the clear ones so that I could see what I'm doing. And then it comes with some little scrapers. And I've been looking forward to getting a clear one for a while now because you can see better what you're actually doing on your nail, where you're stamping it. And I'm happy that the stamper scrapers uh, yeah, stamp scraper is plastic because they work a lot better than the metal ones. Okay, I'm just going to open this. It sounds a little heavy on the crinkle, so I'm going to try and be careful. Okay, I probably cut that out because it was very crinkly. So here is the stamper. And it's not actually squishy. It's hard. Hard plastic. All the other ones that I have are squishy, so I don't know how that's gonna, gonna work out. But yeah, it's strange. Maybe it's, uh, it's just got a lid, that's why. <laughs> oh yeah, that's really squishy. Oh, it's nice. Ooh. So yeah, so you can actually see through and see where you're placing the pattern. That's going to help my stamping game. So. Probably needs a little wash. It's a bit too sticky. <laughs> as well, but I didn't know it was going to come in the same package. Oh, we'll listen to that. So it's um, glow-in-the-dark, kind of confetti to put on your nails. Oh, that's gorgeous. That is going to be amazing. Can't wait to stick that on everywhere. On my nails. <laughs> That's gonna be it's really cute. I really like the little top as well. It's cute. It says T S Z S Nail Art Goods. Okay, so that package is my favourite so far. I love the colours and everything in it. There is just one more package to open. I might move these to the side a little so we can have enough space for this big package. This is the largest one. And as you can see, it 
is from elitefashion99.co.uk which is strange because I did buy it from China I'm pretty sure it was still sent from China um, but their website is a UK address so this one was the only one that came in yellow envelope package and it has the bubble wrap lining like the others it's definitely the sturdiest of the envelopes so far more to be predicted maybe so I already know what's in here because I remember roughly what I ordered gel nail varnishes. Um, this is actually one of their gel polishes. It's one of the reds. Obviously it's red. <laughs> but they go in, their collections are in colour so it's one of their red collection. If I remember which one I'll write it down somewhere. Okay, some nail art brushes. And here is the instructions, if I remember from the last haul. Yeah, these are all the instructions for how to use them. Because they are gel polishes. Okay, so let's have a look at nail art brushes. Flat sculpt. the dotting tools that I got and a lot of um, nail art tools have this kind of design in them it's quite pretty but it means that everything will go together so I'm happy about that the end of the brushes is kind of flattened off and I'm wondering if that's not for cuticle pushing um, I'm not sure I guess I could probably use it for that. And let's have a look at the three brush images. So there are three different brushes. One is a very delicate little um, straight edged brush. Squared off. The blue one is almost the same, but it's squared off in an angle. You can see that. And the last one is coming to a point. Yeah. So I think all three of them will be very useful. Just put them on the other brushes. already and they're really inexpensive they don't last for three weeks like it says but they do last a good week which is still pretty good okay so in 
inside there are the same instructions and the same publicity. I'm just gonna move this up here so I have a bit more space. So they all come in these little pouches. And inside the pouches have a little plastic bag. This one is a top coat. The last time, well, the last time and the first time that I bought anything from Elite 99, I only got one top coat and I got different polishes. So I figured I might as well get another just to make sure that I don't run out. So I have this top coat, which is in a different bottle than the top coat that I had before. And this one I think is another top coat, if I remember rightly. Maybe I should have thought to get a base coat too. <laughs> metallic soak off top coat and I do not know the effect that it has on your nails so we'll see how to give that a try and here are the four colored polishes that I got The thing with their bottles is that you can't actually tell which colour you have in your hand because the bottles are exactly the same. There's just a sticker underneath. So I'm thinking about maybe um, painting the shoulders with the polish or just having a dot somewhere, maybe here. Yeah, just on one of the shoulders so that I know which polish I'm looking at without having to open all the bottles which I'm currently having to do so I'm just gonna open this one up to have a look inside and this, ooh, this is the orangey colour it's a very orange, very bright, bright orange and that's lovely can't wait to try that one I will um, try and write down somewhere which colours correspond to which one I'm looking at in case anyone's interested. I think that they're a really nice um, low cost brand for starting out with gel polishes. They're not the longest lasting but you still get all the fun of trying them out and they do last longer than ordinary nail polish. I'm glad I started with them. Okay, so this one, same as the last one, just a number underneath. And the white bottle, okay, let's see. Ooh, <laughs> this is the kind of neon pastel green, which is very similar to a polish that I have um, in normal polishes from Colour Club, and it is one that I have tried to find and can't find anywhere, so hopefully that will do the trick. little pouch or his little sleeping bag and out of here okay, this 
So this one has numbers and letters underneath. I think this is corresponding to the red collection. Because I remember on this one there is a GH at the beginning. Can't look. Yes, I was right. So this is another one of the red collection. And as you can see, beside this one, it's a lot lighter and orangier than the one I have. This one is more of a blood red, and this is more of a kind of orangey red. So, I think I would probably prefer this one at the moment. Let's have a look at the last one. Well, to its little sleeping bag. No. So I'm really happy with all of those. They are pretty much true to the colours that I saw on the website. And I'm quite happy with that. I know I did order a whole bunch more. They've not arrived yet. And not just polishes but other bits to do with nail art. So. Um, As soon as enough of the little packages come through the door, I will set up another little haul video for you. So, in this haul, I got four Elite 99 nail colours and two different I got a little clear stamper with its little scrapers. Very cute. I got some, I guess, foil or nail wraps in a kind of transparent shiny pink. I got some little nail confetti in a glow in the dark multicolored selection which I fully intend to use with some of these bright colours. I got some masking tape for the nails and some nail tape. I think it's just called nail tape. Nail art tape. Yeah. I also got these five brushes for clean up and these three for art. And some tattoos for my daughter and probably me too. <laughs> so I hope you enjoyed this little haul slash unboxing video and if you are interested in seeing any more in the future don't hesitate to subscribe to this channel because putting out videos every Monday and Thursday for definite and maybe um, another time during the week if I have enough time to film more and hopefully a lot more videos coming up before Christmas. So I hope that was relaxing and I hope that you have a lovely evening and I'll see you next time.